And we have been joined in the studio by our second uh, guest. And it's exciting to see her. You know, she's an Afrobeat, Afropop, and a bit of Afrofusion uh, dance hall artist. And we have been joined in the studio by Abigail Aizam, known by many as Abi Aima. You're welcome to our studios. Thank you. Right. How <laughs> are you doing? How correct. do you feel to join us here? Um, um, it's, it's my second time being here, and mm -hmm. uh, I feel so great. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, one exciting thing uh, getting to read about you that got my attention was the fact that you moved from being a gospel artist <laughs> to uh, a secular artist. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. On a normal day, you know, sometimes some uh, would not even get into being an artist. Maybe they join the choir, they're doing mm -hmm. something in the church. But then to do gospel and then move. <laughs> what happened? What was the switch? Um, I would say um, it's nothing. I just realized that... Um, a musician i'm a singer so as a singer you must be able to i mean sing anything yeah so i still sing at church though mm. but um not recording them and i mean promoting them though but mm. yeah so now secular is what i do because that's what i'm promoting now that's right. what i feel like doing but i still sing at church though Oh, okay. Very mm. interesting. Because someone would just say, you know, from uh, <laughs> gospel to the world, instead of yeah. from the world to gospel. But whatever it is, the fact that you are even still singing at church yeah. is good to know. But she actually before, made an album. Well, album, right? Yeah, gospel album. Gospel <laughs> album, you see. <laughs> the title I mean, was um, uh, You Win Yummy. Wow. Yeah. Win Yummy. Wow. wow. It's actually <laughs> somewhere. You know? that the gospel mm. is not fetching. Right. Uh, you was know, that the case? If, if you are coming up, I mean, if you are at a church and you start doing yeah. um, this, recording your own songs and all that, uh, most times you not get the support you, you need. Yes. I, I thought the so church rather mm, gives mm, more support. No, 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 not that. You probably, weren't getting the support. Probably your so church. That, that's right. what I've seen. <laughs> that is so your I've church seen. was not giving probably you the church. support that you needed as a gospel artist. That's why you moved from being mm, doing gospel to secular. Is that the case? That is no... Um, that though, but um, that's what has been happening. That's what yeah, has not, been happening. Yes. But what, what okay, happened but you can really most, generalize. No, your experience, mm -hmm. what happened to you? Is it that your church mm -hmm. didn't support, yeah. give you that needed support that you, you So, wanted? the church was not giving me that support mm -hmm. though, but that was not the reason. I just realized okay. that mm -hmm. I, I could do like anything. Okay, okay. versatile. I can, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. I can sing gospel, I can sing secular mm -hmm. as well. So, why... So, Okay, can't I try though? So we shouldn't categorize you in mm. any that. Okay. Yeah, so which means you can even come out with mm -hmm. uh, you can come out with a gospel song again. Yeah. Is that just like Nasi? Yes. He says I'm oh, just we a shouldn't call you a gospel artist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're yeah, a musical mm. artist. Yes. Yeah, okay. But just I that um, mm -hmm. as an artist, you have to get a Jenna. You yeah. 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 So yeah. as at now, the your Jenna is Afrobeat mm -hmm. Afro and Afro yeah. pop and dancehall. Okay. And how's it going? But what? What were Sorry. your thoughts of the gospel industry as a whole before we even delve into the uh, dance hall okay. industry as well. What are your general thoughts whilst you were doing gospel music? Yeah, what then are your she, thoughts? She'll answer my question as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gospel industry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the gospel industry is, um, I would say it's, it's, it's good though, but low in some way because, um, you know, I keep on talking about the attention, getting yeah. attention at the gospel side as an upcoming artist or yeah. a gospel singer is very very hard so yeah. is it that the likes that we know um give to say christian and like those people that are already out there is it that they have been giving more attention than the young arts and don't you think it's the same thing in the secular um industry as well they they all started as a young artist yes so they, they have gotten to where they are today. So what attention are you talking about? Is it that you are working hard, you are pushing, and then there is no attention? What form of attention are you talking about? Okay, for my side, I didn't stop doing secular um, gospel because uh, I was not getting the attention. Yes, it's because I realized that I could sing secular as well. Okay, before you move on, you said you, yeah. you were asking me something. I Let's mean, go. joining Afrobeat, mm. how's the journey been for you so far? Do you like it better than the gospel? Yeah, Afrobeat is, is, is sweet, it's nice. Mm. Yes, it's, it's nice. The yeah. attention but is more <laughs> than the gospel. <laughs> okay, mm. um, both. The, both, I, mm. I get, you know, when I started the gospel, the attention was there, but not that much mm. because I was coming up. Okay. But for um, the Afrobeat, is really going well. 
So which which one comes easy when writing? You write your own songs, right? Yeah. Which one comes easy, the gospel song or the Afrobeat? Song? Gospel is simple to simple. write. You, you can just you just pick a Bible and um Osu ye oti na sa si ye oti o invia ranti se o you know it's someone's song but i just yeah. the melody doesn't yeah. go uh, the same way so gospel is very simple than writing a secular song or afrobeat is okay. is different it's, it's, it's um, normal for me. Like, gospel is simple for me to write. <laughs> Very interesting, Very you know. Interesting. We actually yeah. need an ah. Right. Your time is not enough. You know? Because me, I want to ask you a lot of right. questions. Like, your relationship with God and all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I really want... But, unfortunately, you know, time is far gone. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> but, you know, I also realized something that you're doing that for a bit. I've seen some of your stage performances. Yeah. And... Uh, you're great when it comes to stage performances. Thank you. So do you do? What are the, some of the things that you do before you even get on the stage? What's your secret? Because it seems you are doing very well on there. Okay, so I don't really have a secret because um, music is in me. And that is what... I, I started singing in front of um, congregation at a very young age. So being in the um, middle of a, a crowd, like... I get their confidence. I don't even know where the energy comes from. Though. Wow. Yes, so it's just a normal thing. So for you me. don't rehearse, you don't do anything when it's time for you to just appear and then you deliver. Yes, I rehearse, but it's, mm. it's all the time live band. Okay. Yeah. But to go on stage and mime, it's just a normal thing to me. So okay. mm. Let, Let's talk about your music aspirations. I know it's a cliche question, but where, where do you see yourself in the next, let's say, three years? Hmm. Bringing Grammys to Ghana. Oh. And, 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 and feeling all too hard. E for energy. Grammys. Yeah. You know, Nana, when I was home, I thought about this thing that um, it looks like we seek for validation from the outside. Like when you win a Grammy or you get noticed outside, yeah. That is when you feel fulfilled. That yeah. I, th I think we really need to sit down. Producer, I hope you are listening. <laughs> that we really need to sit down and, and talk about this particular topic. That are we seeking for validation from the outside? Because it looks like that's everybody's goal. Yeah. Music but artists. But sometimes... Grammy, well, Grammy, you know, Grammy, 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 yeah. Grammy. Oscars. <laughs> the movie actors to Oscars, Oscars. Mm -hmm. But apart from winning Grammy, what else? Um, and then giving my fans the best. Okay. The best. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like, right. your latest mm. um, is Broken Hearts. Broken hearts. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about yeah. that. Um, how, how <laughs> out of all your songs, I know you have one with Fancy Gadam. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, that a I really different love. different right. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Give me love and a different feeling. You ra you sing towards love. First, you said yeah. we should give you love. Now you're talking <laughs> about Broken, broken Hearts. hearts. Tell us about your writing <laughs> process, like everything. What that, goes to your mind and how you came about to this song? <laughs> that guy who gave me love later <laughs> gave me book oh, <laughs> okay. So the true story. Eh? Okay, it's, it's not a true story. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. But it's like a pattern. Like the one right. who gave you Yeah, yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. so the thing is, I've, I've gotten broken heart before, but that was long ago. <laughs> okay. Grand, 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 grand. okay. Uh -huh. But this particular story is... Mm. For uh, my best friend. Okay. And okay. So he got heartbroken and I went to him. So he decided to, he explained everything to me. So it, it was, I was very sad that day. Oh. So when I went to him, I decided to, I mean, make put a song pen out paper. of that. Yeah. And that's um, working out for you. A guy, your, your best friend is a guy. Yeah. And oh, I mm. my, okay, guys get sure. broken hearts. Yes. 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 I want you coming to say that. No, no, just that. That's not even that. So you won't. You yeah. I know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. People go through some of yeah. these things. Yeah. And that's for men. Lots. You know, a woman can easily cry their heart out to someone. Yeah. Yeah. By man, they say, hey, we are bare minds. Bare minds. Bare minds. Yeah. But as that song is out, how is the response from Ghanaians? As always, are they supported? Like, because you release it when? Yeah, just um, a few weeks um, ago. A month ago. A month ago. Yeah. But yeah. how is the response? Um, it's it's really getting the attention and it's going well. You know, when we say broken hearts, it talks about everyone's life. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. So yeah. we get broken hearts at our workplaces, um, family, um, our loved ones. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not Even our pets. Yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> uh, for one particular thing, like dating a guy or yeah. being with your husband. Yeah. And yeah. yes, yeah. so it just it talk it talks about everything. 
So um, people really like the song, and I like the way um, it's really going. Okay. Mm. Abi Aima, before you go, I mean, time is already fast. Will you say that you have not regretted moving from gospel to secular music? Not at all. Mm. You are not happy with what you're doing right now? Not at all. But there, there is one thing. Mm -hmm. There is one thing I have to say. People do say that um, secular musicians are not more spiritual um, because they are doing secular yeah. music. So they don't pray. The relationship between them and God is something else. But I can tell you that this field is very serious if you are not prayerful mm -hmm. than the gospel side. Because everybody knows that uh, we are gospel. Yeah, you are just a gospel musician. You just go to the church, sing and all that. But the secular side, everybody can just do anything else Did to you. you. Yes, mm. so you just have to be praised. So this this place, this field, you have to be more spiritual. You have yeah. to be more spiritual. Okay, I'll be I am trust me. Uh we'd love to have you here again to delve deeper into some I of know. these matters. <laughs> but it's been good having you here in our studio. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Right. <laughs> Guys. Okay, this is a wrap up for yeah. the afternoon. Thanks to our guests, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for coming.